184 pound matchup between Matt Eirich and Taylor Jackson. Amanda, what can you tell me about Matt Eirich for this Hoosier squad? Well, Matt Eirich is coming off a loss against ranked number 20 Nicholas Gravina from Rutgers this past meet. His current record overall is 32 and 44 as he takes on the sophomore from Lady Lake, Florida, Taylor Jackson, who currently is coming off of a pin loss that happened at 116 against Taylor Williams. Jackson is a Nicholas sophomore. from Missouri. The season, finished fifth. Absolutely. So we still. see this one already underway. Classic. And we've got Matt, Matt Eirich, the redshirt junior the from Fishers, Indiana, a product of Hamilton Jackson Southeastern High season. School. And we've got Taylor Jackson. Taylor As you Jackson said, he is from winner. Lady Lake, Florida, but he's a Rutgers transfer. So a little bit of Big Ten experience in him. So he's looking to see, hey, you know, he's looking to make a statement that he can hang with the best of the best, especially against uh, Matt Eirich, who's the face of the Hoosiers today. That's for sure. And Eirich is coming into a seven to three setup right now. Hoosiers are in the lead against App State. So we'll see what he does with that advantage he's starting with for the team. Absolutely. We've got Taylor Jackson at 12 and 12 this season. Um, but one of the biggest things that Matt Irick has done this season for the uh, for the Hoosiers, um, we actually had a uh, narrow seven to six decision um, at number 20 Michigan or number 20 Minnesota rather, uh, which allowed him and the team to get that clutch victory uh, to make their status just a little bit more known. You know, in this highly highly contested Big Ten. And here we see a little bit of, a lot of neutral position here early on in the first period between Irick and Jackson. I mean, I have to say, even coming out of two completely different conferences that people look at with completely different calibers, these wrestlers have been pretty evenly matched. I mean, Nate Jackson definitely took, took to took Nick um, Lee to the ta Nick to the task, but um, this has been. Pretty, pretty evenly matched and definitely fun to watch. Absolutely, and looking ahead, it may be very important for Matt Eirich to get this uh, victory here because looking ahead, they've got uh, the Appalachian State Mountaineers have Denzel DeJournay, uh, who is ranked currently number six in the nation at the heavyweight bout. So it may be really good for the Hoosiers to get a little bit of separation here going into some tougher matchups later on. Yeah, with a record of 24 and two, Dijonet is definitely a player to watch for Garrett Goldman, redshirt senior, he'll be taking him on. Absolutely, and now we have these two wrestlers in a bit of a neutral position, trying to gain some sort of advantage over the other with just about 10 seconds left in this first period. There we have a scoreless first period between Irick and Jackson. And Irick enters the second period, choosing bottom, hoping to get a quick escape for one point. So that we can get anybody on the board at this point. Absolutely, it is a quiet game so far, especially following the 174 pound matchup between Nate Jackson and Nick Key, which actually saw a major decision. One point escape, Irick. And there we've got Irick with a one point escape there early on in the second period. It'll also be interesting to see how Taylor Jackson tries to accumulate some riding time in this period. Granted that Irick chose to start down. Irick coming off of seven consecutive losses, likely hoping to break that streak today. Jackson. Only three losses for Jackson in the past three meets. Not necessarily much better, but definitely a different feeling from that seven loss streak coming for Matt Eirich that he looks and like he's hoping to break now despite having just lost his upper hand in the score two to one Jackson. Absolutely, we have Taylor Jackson with a quick takedown for two points as we will reset things in the middle of the mat with just about half the time gone in the second period. Here 
we see Matt Eirich doing whatever he can to escape, but it looks as though Taylor Jackson is just overpowering him as of now. Matt Eirich with a two-point reversal there to take this game from a one-point deficit to a one-point lead with under half the time remaining in the second period. Both of them back on their feet again. And they are right back down. It has been a pretty aggressive, active second period for both of these wrestlers so far. Still warning in Irene. And there's a warning on Irik there as we will reset here with Jackson on bottom and Irik on top. One point escape, Taylor one point Jackson. escape for Taylor Jackson there to tie this one up with just about 10 seconds left in the second period. And there we see the two wrestlers taking a bit of a quick break. Right, put your fans on your feet and make some the noise in the third period. The stands here in Indiana University's University Gym are just a little bit louder for one side than the other. But can you blame them, Amanda? Not at all. They sure do love their boys. Absolutely. So here we get started in the top of the Jackson. third period. And we've got Matt Eirich with a bit of a conceit of that uh, quick escape to Taylor Jackson, but we'll hope to see whether Matt Eirich can actually pull some strong moves and get back on top by the end of this one. Looking at that one point deficit, that is actually how he lost last meet at Rutgers with Nicholas Ravina. He lost four to three. This score is sitting on it right now. We'll see if he can't take that deficit on and at the very least tie it up to get us through the third. We have a stoppage of play by the referee. Uh, looks as though it was a reach before something bad could have happened. And there's a bit of an upset fan uh, making his case heard. But here we go. We restart with Taylor Jackson at the one point uh, lead right now. Two point takedown. But Matt Eirich with a two point takedown to take the lead himself by one, one point. point escape, Jackson. But then a one point escape by Taylor Jackson. So here we are with uh, ourselves tied with under a minute left in the third period here at the NWCA Division I Wrestling Championship Dual Series. There we've got Matt Eirich fending off the advance by Taylor Jackson. And Taylor Jackson going for a bit of a near pin there. 30 seconds remain, 30. There we have Matt Eirich. Two point, Two point takedown for him right there. This Hoosier crowd is loving it. Ladies and gentlemen, These Matt Eirich. on their feet. Absolutely, we've got Matt Eirich with a two-point lead with about 10 seconds left in the third period. Dwayne Goldman practically on the mat, cheering on Eirich, getting him there for these last five seconds of this third. Absolutely, there is not a Hoosier teammate on the bench. Everyone supporting Matt Eirich as he gets the victory, putting this Hoosier team up 10-3 over the Appalachian State Mountaineers. 